if you have installed Tocad version from 2016 or later version, open the software, installed AutoCAD, maybe shortcut on the desktop like this. For example, I have 2020. If you don't see the shortcut on the desktop, you can search here, search AutoCAD. You can see shortcut of the AutoCAD. If you don't have the shortcut on the desktop and you want to add the shortcut to the desktop, you can right click on this and uh, select open file location. Uh, copy this shortcut and paste on the desktop to see here. Okay, to open uh, AutoCAD, now double click on this shortcut. Wait some seconds. It needs time depending on the computer performance. Uh, this is the main window of the AutoCAD. You have this uh, previous files, previous files you see here. If you don't have uh, any files before, you, you don't see anything here. If you need to previous uh, open the previous file, you can click on any of this, or you need to find another uh, file rather than this file. So you can select open file, select the location of your file, and you can open. Uh, now I want to uh, create a new file. Uh, click on this uh, start drawing. This is the main window of the AutoCAD file. Now, the name of the file is drawing one. You can change it by select save as. You can uh, select the location. For example, I uh, save on the desktop and select drawing. For example, two. Save. The first step, it is better to save the file before working on the file uh, to not lose your file during your uh, creating or drawing. Every time, for example, af after you doing some uh, steps, you can uh, select it, save to save your file. First time, save as. Uh, after that, every time you need to save, just click on save. Here you see the model. Model. Uh, this is the window of model. Uh, you can draw anything here. This is the model, and we have layouts. Layout one. Lay layout two. You can create uh, many layouts here. If you click on layout, it means prepare to print. Prepare the uh, drawings to print. Later in the next lectures, I will talk about layout we have here home and from home we have this uh, icons 99 percent of time i work on this uh, home icons and then we have insert also we use it annotate we have uh, dimensions uh, and uh, some other icons here and leaders uh, parametric view this commanders don't uh, use so many times. These three times, and these three commanders is the main commands in AutoCAD uh, to draw your works. This is the main feature of the 2D AutoCAD, two-dimensional AutoCAD. And here we see the zoom extend. We have many times of zooms. Zoom extend, zoom window, zoom in previous real time. All of this we uh, discuss later. Also, we can switch to the 3D model by 3D modeling. And this <coughs> drafting annotation annotation for 2D uh, working drawings and 3D modeling for 3D works. <coughs> this is another window for 3D. Uh, after that, we talk about then I go back to the 2D modeling now. And uh, here we have a uh, new to create new file open to open the previous file is save save as import. That is, uh, these commands are uh, repeated and same as uh, another programs. And we have options later I will talk about. This is the main window uh, for AutoCAD 2D and 3D. And here we have commands. Also, uh, from the next lectures, I will talk about. 
after opening the AutoCAD software, the setting of the file uh, can be changed from the AutoCAD icon, select options. This window will be opened. Or you can write from here, from the command, write options. You can see here, the same window will be opened. You can change anything you need here. For example, from file, we don't uh, need to change anything. From the display, for example, I want to change the cursor size. Okay, you see the cursor size is too large. Right uh, options, Ch back to the original uh, five. <clears throat> open and save, from the open and save, uh, only we change the save as type file. For example, I have AutoCAD 2020, but I uh, or and by default, my file is all saved by AutoCAD 2013. The benefit of this, if I save any file uh, by this AutoCAD directly, automatically will save as a uh, file type of 2013. Because if I want to send my file to another one, he has or she has only 2030 or 2000. 40, uh, 15, uh, he can uh, open. But if I save my file by 2020 and he has uh, 2015 or 40 or 13, uh, he cannot open the file. That's why I save my files for the earlier uh, versions. It is very important to uh, select 2000. 13. Plot and publish Microsoft Print to uh, PDF. And this is uh, good. Now, the last lectures I will uh, talk about the layouts. Uh, with the layouts, I will talk about this one. From the system, uh, user preference, uh, drafting, 3D modeling, I don't change anything now. Uh, select OK. After setting the options of the AutoCAD file, uh, we need also uh, select the type of the unit of the file. Now, uh, we don't know what is the type of the file, uh, the units of the file. Uh, from here, from the commands, uh, write units. Units. You see here, units. Select on this one. Type of unit, decimal and precision uh, for uh, points after the comma. Here we see here millimeters, but uh, the angle type is decimal. The precision is uh, only one degree. You can change as you want. For example, I want uh, to select the type of length architectural or uh, decimal or engineering. The decimal is okay for me, and I selected two points after the comma for precision. The angle type is a decimal degree. We have a degree, minute, second, grades, radians, surveys, units, but I selected decimal degree, okay, but one point after the comma. And I will work on meters, and everyone can use your own degree of type of the units then select okay now every uh, line here is in meters or in angles are in degree drawings can be started from the home command we have this section to draw the drawings for example i have line polyline circle in circle, we have some options. In arc, we have some options. In rectangle and polygon, we have. And for the ellipse, we have three options. And for hash, we have two options. Let us start with the line. Uh, select the line here. You can draw the line. Or from the command, you can just uh, click on L and enter start the line uh, 
uh, with any angles you can draw the line for example for this angle and uh, for the length of 10 meter this is the line with the specified angle and the uh, length of 10 meter if you need to continue the line click on the line and uh, continue the line as you want this is the random uh, drawing you see here uh, different segments different lines because you have start and end point of any line you can select it uh, by left click on the mouse and uh, select the specified the, the required lines these lines are uh, selected but uh, from the left to right we have a blue selection this blue selection cannot uh, uh, select the line and until the entire line uh, included inside the selection for example if you see here just this uh, line is totally included in the selection and then can be selected the others uh, cannot be selected for example this line this part included in the line in the selection but not uh, totally included then uh, cannot be selected but for example if we select from here uh, the total line is included and can be selected this is the difference if we select from the left to right or right to left from the right to left if uh, a very small piece of the line is included it can be selected this is uh, the selection and uh, if we need to join all these lines together uh, you can say select all the lines and uh, select here join from the modify we have join join this is uh, uh, called polyline because all the different parts of the line are joined are joined together called polyline if you need to create polyline directly without uh, creating line lines and joining together we have polyline select the polyline and create different lines and select enter right click enter or uh, press enter in the uh, keyboard you see uh, the polyline already uh, directly all the lines are joined together this is the difference between the line and polyline if we need to extract uh, the polyline to separate lines we can select the polyline and uh, right x plot x plot after exploding the polyline we see like this at each uh, line segments are separated okay delete uh, just select the lines and uh, press delete in the keyboard it can be deleted or you can uh, for example this you can uh, use this icon eras select the lines right click it can be deleted okay for circle we have a uh, center and uh, radius center and diameter two points if you have two pointers we can create a, a circle between these two points if you have three points we can create the circle between these three points if you have two lines uh, select these two line and already specify the radius if we have three lines we can create a, a circle between these three points three lines for example center and radius uh, click on the circle and click on the center radius uh, click on any point if you want uh, then select the radius of the line for example two this is uh, the line uh, circle if you need uh, to specify center and diameter for example this is the center and diameter 1.5 this is diameter 1.5 and this one is a radius 
if we have two points, for example, I need to draw a circle between this point and this point. Select the first point and select the second point. You can create the circle for three points. If you have, for example, this uh, one, this one, and this one, this is uh, this point and this point and this point, you have the circle between the three of them. Uh, tan, tan, tan radius. For example, I draw the line here and uh, another line here. I have uh, a circle tangent to this line, tangent to this line, and the radius is 5 meter, for example. Sorry. And uh, also, this is uh, if we have a uh, two lines, uh, we have a tangent for this two line and uh, the specified radius. Uh, the uh, last one is tan tan tan. It means the tangent between the three lines. Okay, this is the circle. The arc we have a lot of. Uh, options if we have three points we can create a line between them if we have a uh, start and uh, center end we have to create and a lot of for example three points i have this is the start point this is the second and this is the last point these three points we have i can create a line with uh, an arc between uh, all of them and the rectangle and polygon we have so the rectangle is easy and select the base point we have uh, here area and dimension and rotation select the dimension uh, you can see here specify the length of the rectangle for example the length of the rectangle is five meter Specify the width of the rectangle. For example, the width it is three meter. You can uh, select it, uh, after pressing Enter. You can select the location of the rectangle. For example, I will put here. This is three meter. This this line is five meter. For polygon, also we have. Uh, polygon uh, enter the number of the sides uh, uh, by default we have four uh, sides you can choose for example six sides specify the center this is in, in inscribed in the circle if is the polygon inside the circle or outside of the circle uh, for example, inside the circle and specify the radius of the uh, circle, for example, 2 meter. This is uh, the polygon inside the circle of, the, of radius 2 meter. For the ellipse, we have three options. For example, start with this one, specify the center, and after specifying the center, uh, here say, Specify the endpoint of the axis. Endpoint, uh, for example, uh, five meters length, and uh, distance to the other axis. This axis of the ellipse, how much? For example, two meter. This is the ellipse with three meter x axis and two meter y axis. Uh, another op option of the ellipse. Uh, here say specify the endpoint of the ellipse. Specify axis endpoint. For example, here 10 meter, and here is 3 meter. The other one is elliptical arc. Arc. It means not total ellip uh, ellipse. Uh, a part of ellipse uh, we need to draw. Uh, specify the axis of endpoint of elliptical arc. Uh, for example, for, for here 5 meter and for here uh, 3 meter. Uh, 
then you can select the uh, length of the uh, which part of arc of the ellipse unit from for example a half of ellipse unit or uh, uh, this part of ellipse unit or this part of ellipse unit or a quarter of ellipse unit just click left click you can see the uh, part this part of ellipse or if you need to change uh, the length of uh, ellipse you can do it this is the drawing shape of the drawing part of the AutoCAD simply and you can improve and learn more in the next lectures okay let us go to the modify command this is the draw command which we created this shape is by the draw command and uh, from the modify we have some icons uh, move copy stretch rotate mirror scale trim fillet array erase uh, explode and offset we have this is the main features of the modify we have another some another but it is not uh, used uh, too much rarely can be used for example, let's start with the move. Select it, move, then select it, uh, the required object, then right click. Okay, now you can uh, select it at any point. For example, I am uh, selecting this point and moving to any direction I need. For example, for this direction, I need to move uh, 10 meters in this direction. Then select 10 meter and press enter. Okay. If I want to uh, move horizontally, we have here ortho orthogonality uh, right corner. Select this one tick. You can uh, move horizontally or vertically. This is a very useful uh, tool to copy, move, offset every uh, to move, uh, copy, offset or any uh, activities. You can do it uh, horizontally and vertically. For example, vertically, I want to move five meter. Okay, this is the activity of the move for example i have a copy selected copy here or from the command you can select it c uh, right c from the command you can see copy here click on copy uh, click on for example this one and right click then select it at the required point for example i'm dragging uh, the center line the center and then uh, I need to copy this object uh, 20 meters up to left enter then enter this is the work of the copy stretch uh, later I will talk about uh, rotate for example I want to rotate this uh, rectangular shape uh, click on the rotate then click on the object then right click then click of the uh, base point specify base point here you see here uh, base point is very important to rotate the object around this point for example i want to rotate the object around this point or if i want to rotate about the center we can select center i want to rotate about this one and uh, specify the angle uh, angle of rotation for example I want to rotate uh, 45 degree enter this is the role of uh, rotate mirror select mirror for example I have this uh, arc I want to mirror in this arc uh, select mirror then select the object then right click after right click we have, we see here specify first point for the mirror line we need to we need to have a mirror line to 
and mirror the object around this line for example this is the first point in the command ask to specify the first point of the mirror line this is the first point of the mirror line second point for example here because i want to mirror this object about around the horizontal axis this is uh, horizontal axis select at any point then select yes this is mirror uh, erased uh, deleted the original if i selected uh, no the original will remain for example uh, another time i want to mirror this one about around the y-axis select the object select uh, the uh, first point then the second point the command say erase sword object i select no the original uh, remained and the uh, object was mirrored about the y-axis scale the scale uh, is very simple select the scale then select the object for example i want to select this polygon then right click uh, the command says specify the base point. Base point uh, to scale the object around this point. For example, at the center, select center. Then uh, specify the scale factor. For example, I want to enlarge the uh, object 20%. And then I want to uh, select 1.2. Enter the object was enlarged 20 percent uh, trim trim is uh, for example i have this uh, three uh, circles i want to trim this part between the uh, circles select a trim uh, select objects because uh, at least we have to uh, we should have two object uh, two objectives to trim the line between these objects. I selected these three circles, then select right click. Now it is ready to trim any part you need to delete. For example, I want to delete this part, this part, and that's it. For example, this one also I'm deleting and everywhere you need, you can delete. Then right click, enter. This is the role of delete. Uh, in the delete, we have another option, extent. Extent means uh, lengthen the line. For example, I want to uh, extend this line to this object. And this arc, I want to extend it to uh, intersect with this polygon. For example, select the arc, then select the polygon, then right click, then select the line of. And this is not uh, the extension of this line is not intersecting the polygon. Okay, create another line here, for example. I want to extend this arc to this line. Select extend, select the two objectives, then right click and select the arc. And the arc will extend. The arc will be extended to the line. Then click enter. Right click enter. Okay, fill it and chamfer. Now we have a fill it and chamfer and blend curves. Uh, from fill it uh, the is the intersection between these two lines by the arc chamfer by the uh, horizon by the sloped line for example i will create uh, two lines here to create the fillet between them select fillet then select the radius of the arc between them for example the radius of the intersection of them between them five meter uh, the command says select the first object. 
then select the second object the fillet uh, directly can be created another time to create the chamfer between them select a chamfer the distance from the fillet we have already as well from the uh, chamfer we have a distance distance uh, from the origin we have two meter for example select the first one and select the first and second one we have the two meter here and two meter here in the program directly create the transfer between these two lines we have array and array two type three types polar array path array and rectangular array for example i have this uh, poly and this let us create a circle small circle i want to array uh, to create a, long, a lot of uh, circles in this direction for example i want to copy this uh, circle each five meters on this horizontal line select the path array select the circle then uh, right click after that select the path you see the um, circle copied along the horizontal line but in the uh, difference between this uh, circles 4.4 meters center to center you can uh, increase to five for example i want, I want to uh, five meters between each circle center to center then create enter if you delete this line uh, just the circles remain but it is connected together if you want to dis uh, explode uh, the circles to if you want to select one of them for example select explode then select the one of them right click this is the extracted uh, circles each one uh, can be selected alone after drawing and modify commands has been finished uh, let us start with the annotation command annotation we have uh, text uh, dimension leader and table for example uh, i want to uh, name this uh, type of the object by the text select the text then click at any point you want to add the text then uh, select the box for the text and left click okay now you see the damage uh, the text height of the text for example i want to see to for example, I want to uh, write the name of the object as uh, object one. One. Left click. You see the uh, type of the scale is uh, large. The size is large. Select uh, this text type and select one, for example, enter. The text will be smaller and you can change the uh, font type and change the uh, color of the text and you can create bold italic uh, everything you can and uh, select the orientation of the uh, text like this after text we have dimension uh, from dimension we have uh, some options a linear dimension align angular arc length radius diameter ordinary joint uh, linear uh, to find the length of uh, straight lines vertically or horizontally this is in meter and because the file uh, unit is a meter 
this uh, length is also in meter if i want to find the length of this part uh, sloped part uh, i i must use aligned to find this distance 3.07 meter the angular is uh, used to find the angle between the uh, two lines and select the first line and select the second line then you can find the inner radius or outer radius outer angle sorry this is the inner uh, angle one uh, hundred one hundred twenty the outer one hundred twenty also between these two lines these two lines also in the middle in the uh, inner also between these two lines okay this is the angular dimension arc length is used to uh, find the length of the arc and this is the 6.38 meter and radius is used, used to find the radius of the circles or arcs two meter radius and the diameter also can be used in this one later is uh, to define something for example uh, instead of the uh, using text beside the object you can use later uh, deselect the ortho and you can use the later uh, object one the text size for i will change to one okay this is the leader which has uh, defined this object as object one by leader, not only the text. Uh, now we have a table. You can uh, create the number of column and num column with this number of rows and row height. Okay. You can create a table anywhere and you can enter the data let us delete the table uh, we see the size of this uh, a row is uh, very high and uh, very large and the text height is very large you cannot uh, for example you have a lot of dimension lines you cannot change the dimension as, um, text height one by one you can uh, say can change all together for example i have here uh, dimension style iso select this uh, icon uh, we have two types uh, three types uh, i used this one for example i want to know this one is style this is iso 25 Modify ISO 25. Uh, text select text uh, one meter uh, one text height and the lines symbols and arrows. Uh, the arrow size 2.5 is too much large. Change to one. Uh, then change the color of the extension lines and the arrow head is can be filled or a closed blank dot everything you need is available the text color also i will use uh, red the we see here there is no uh, meter bes uh, beside the text so I want to add uh, suffix meter. Now meter is added beside the text. Create, select, okay. Set current, it means uh, change all these uh, dimensions to this style. 
set current close all of them has been changed you can also change another time uh, change the arrow size change the uh, colors and text height uh, everything you can uh, choose for the leader also you can uh, uh, select leader modify leader the content is text height uh, I'll choose one text color land landing gap is the gap between the text and the line this gap between the text and the line you can uh, arrange as you want the leader color also can be changed okay set current close this is the leader you see there is no uh, there is no arrow you can add arrow also okay this is uh, the annotation uh, command uh, contains for main uh, icons okay after explaining the draw uh, command modify and annotation command these all are explained uh, we go to the layer commands from the layer command uh, by default i have uh, zero layer and diff point layer we have only two uh, layers all this uh, drawing is in the layer of zero in the in this layer just one layer i have now delete all this drawings to create more uh, layers select on layer properties we have uh, add layer new layer frozen layer delete layer set current okay we have all uh, these two uh, default layers as we see here uh, create a new layer for example uh, wall a layer of wall another layer is window for example windows another one for example dimensions okay let us enough for now uh, for the walls uh, change the color uh, it's by default white let us uh, remain white for the window i will choose uh, blue and for the dimensions red okay close this tab now you see the new uh, layers here if you start with uh, the project, uh, the first step is start with the walls. And then I will add the windows. After that, I will add the dimensions. Later, I can add the layer for the uh, textures and hatch. Also, I can create the layer. Uh, let us start with the wall. For example, I have the plan. 20 meter by 10 meter 20 and uh, just write C and enter the plan will be closed this is the polyline okay to create a wall uh, the thickness of wall for example 20 centimeters select this uh, offset click on the offset, offset. Uh, specify offset distance distance of offset for example 0.2 meter enter then select the line to the inner face or the outer face you can uh, offset the line for the inner i need click inner side then right right click enter okay this is the wall of the for example uh, any office for example this is the walls and uh, after that I want to add the window 
click on window layer directly the, la the color of the line will change uh, for example for wall the layer is white uh, when we select the when we activate the wall window uh, the color will change color will change directly to the uh, blue color also for example i will add a window here depends on your dimensions and this is the window for example uh, in blue color uh, also i want to add the dimension select dimension layer the color directly change then add dimension here for example i want to apply here and apply here okay what is the uh, importance of the layer uh, if i have a very complicated uh, drawing is uh, i want to see just the walls uh, another time i want to see just the windows another time i want to see just dimensions blah 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 you can manage this work very simple now i want to see just the uh, the wall i will turn off the dimension and turn off turn off the windows you see uh, the window and the dimensions are being hidden uh, hidden not uh, deleted just hidden if we uh, want to restore them we can uh, turn on you can see the window and the dimensions the layer is very important uh, i will dis explain uh, ap uh, after uh, drawing modify in annotation then i explained layer but in the real uh, after setting the file you can you should you must create layers then start drawings this is the very very important point to start any drawing any project you should uh, create your layers then you can start drawing this block command is a very useful command in AutoCAD after explaining the previous commands we reached the block command uh, it contains uh, recent blocks and blocks from other drawings uh, the basic of this command is creating blocks uh, blocks means what for example i have a circle here any drawing for example a circle here or a rectangle here uh, something like that for example a drawing a map a car a tree or anything for example you have i need to create a block and delete here everywhere you can uh, import uh, directly to uh, any drawings for example i will create uh, a block from this drawing or i will create a block from this drawing now uh, by two ways you can create blocks the first one select the drawing you want to create a block to make a block uh, from here we have uh, create click on this one this uh, box will be opened and uh, name this block for example i have uh, a name of the drawing drawing no for example a garage and this drawing is a garage for example name the block convert to block uh, be careful don't use a return or delete because if you select delete after uh, and okay after creating the block the drawing here directly will be deleted uh, convert to block it remains the drawing and also creates a block from this uh, drawing select okay okay now the 
drawing is uh, changed to the block if we select any part of this drawing uh, we'll select all the drawing together i cannot change uh, from here anything from this drawing because it is a block how can i change uh, for example uh, i will add a dimension here or add a dimension here i need to uh, add uh, the interior design from this garage for example how i can uh, change it double click on this block anywhere double click you see here edit block definition you, you see here a list if you have uh, more blockers you see here all of them i have this garage on the now double click on the garage you will, the this window will open you can change anything for example i will add a line here now i will create a partition okay after creating all the after adding all uh, changes right click anywhere uh, select it close block editor select it, save the change to garage okay now the block was edited uh, and this part also inside the block cannot be selected uh, separately this is uh, the first block for example i will create uh, this one also a block select it you can uh, select here create or uh, from the command right block you see here block click on this and the same window will open for example here is garage to convert to block okay this is the second block if i want to edit double click on this one you see the previous uh, block and the existing block double click on the garage you can edit after editing right click anywhere close edit block editor okay okay after if i want to delete this uh, block here anytime i want to uh, back the block after creating the uh, blocks and you deleted the blocks for example i delete this one also and uh, later i want to add the same blocks or different another blocks for example uh, this is the previous blocks which i created uh, click on the recent blocks you see here the blocks you can uh, insert the same block or another block is previously uh, created from the another drawing is for example i want to restore this one right click on this uh, block and uh, select insert you see the block uh, has been restored uh, with the same uh, format and you have another option for example for this one you have insert and explode you see here the block is one part you cannot uh, edit until you double click on uh, and you go into the enter the block and you can edit inside the block editor but if you want to add the block uh, directly you need to work on you can uh, right click and insert and explode you see uh, this block is uh, separated you can directly work uh, on this block uh, uh, not inside the block editor uh, this is uh, about the block the remaining command is for example after blocks after block command this five uh, command draw modify annotation layer and block are explained previously in the previous lectures the remaining commands is properties groups 
utilities clipboard and view this uh, properties command is also very important uh, you can change the color of any object here you can change the line weight by default this is the width of the line but you can increase for example i will change to point is six millimeter but you can see you cannot see the weight of the line there is no difference between the thickness of this line and this line because uh, you have uh, to select the line weight here from the customization here this is the customization you can uh, add the line weight this is the line weight you can uh, add here uh, after selecting this line weight you can see the width of the line after, if you need uh, if you don't need to see the line weight so you can deselect this one uh, if there is no available line width here from the customization just tick the line width you can see uh, then the type of the line for example we have dash line center line each type of the line unit you can import here from uh, here from the by layer if there is available here you can direct directly change uh, for example select this one you need to change this line to the dashed line there is no available here select other no available here also select load this is the dash line any type of line you need you can import now i need dash line okay add it to here select the line okay now the dash line available in the list okay select the object you need to change the line to the dash line okay now if i select this one you see the type of the line is dash line if you select this one continuous line this is the dashed line but i don't see uh, this dash lines why uh, to see the dashes select the line or object right click and select properties line type scale just uh, change the line type scale you can see the uh, dashed lines now i from one uh, i reduce to point two uh, i see the dash line but the scale also it is uh, too large change to point oh five enter it is better but uh, if i want to create uh, smaller dash lines uh, change select it then point oh three okay for me now it is okay uh, this is the uh, line type and line weight line color object color this is the properties of uh, properties command the group utilities clipboard and view commands these four command is not uh, used too much uh, rarely used this three not used uh, very very randomly can uh, rarely can be used but uh, the utilities uh, sometimes used for example i want to measure the area for the distance and area is very useful for example i want to uh, measure the area of this uh, rectangle select area click on the nodes select enter you see the area 8.58 meter square and the perimeter is 11.73 meter if you want uh, the area of each location just select the boundary of this location and select enter you see the area and parameter uh, this uh, option uh, this icon is very useful angle radius distance quick measure this this uh, 
uh, are all available here measurement from the annotation command but the area is new for us you can uh, select area from the utilities command the other is uh, we don't use because we use uh, in another ways for example I want uh, to add uh, the other drawing is from the other files to this drawing for example uh, I create another drawing select new this is the new file uh, totally different from this drawing to another file select it, uh, create some drawings create some drawings and you want to import these drawings to the previous drawing for example I have this drawing I want to import this drawing to this uh, file how can I uh, copy select the file uh, uh, only uh, this part you not you need to copy right click from clipboard select copy then go to the another file select clipboard anywhere you need you can uh, click li right click uh, select paste the size of the file of the other file is very different from this file uh, that's why uh, it is very big you can uh, measure and uh, me put and uh, can be reduced by the scale for example this is 1043 meter I want this uh, length one, uh, 1 meter for example the scale is 0 0.001 select scale select uh, base point the scale is 0 0.001 you see the file is the size is reduced measure the dimension 1.04 meter you can create uh, another scale you can uh, measure change to another scales uh, as you want but if you create uh, in a required scale here it is the same and for example if you uh, draw by one meter here for example I create 10 meter line this is 10 meter line select the line clipboard copy the other drawing should be the same length ten meter the length can uh, will not change the same length uh, will come to the other files okay and any file you create uh, how many files are opened you see all files here for example file five to six files are open in the same at the same time you see all the files are here just by clicking on each of them you can go to this file uh, anywhere you select it right click you see pan you can uh, move the drawing is by pan or you see zoom move to forward you see zoom in backward you see uh, zoom out 3d orbit for the 3d drawing is zoom window if you select it, uh, a window select a window and the drawing is inside this window uh, zoom in automatically zoom out 
by right click also uh, from the clipboard we have a paste as block uh, when the drawing is copied from here you can uh, paste here as a, a draw normal drawing or as a block for example if i uh, put as a block we cannot see like this this is the editable line this line is non-editable because this is block paste as block this uh, normal pasted the block also can be uh, edited by double click on the line and uh, double click on the name then you can uh, edit the line but normally it is a block cannot be changed normally the other command is insert annotate parameter view manage output these all uh, commands are not used in normal use 99.9 .9 uh, percent the engineers work on home home zoom in zoom out zoom extent and layouts and uh, also also if we create a horizontal and vertical line uh, if i select the grid you see the grid lines no need then line weight you can select or deselect it as required that's it in this practical project i want to redesign this house which contains a plan and front elevation with the furnitures okay let us start the new file of the autocad this file which contains this house by the name of house on the disk i can create a new file by start start drawing or by selecting this plus sign let us start with this plus sign okay this is the new uh, drawing file for the autocad by the name of drawing one <clears throat> the grids are shown here as we see if we don't we don't need to see these grid lines just click on this grid grids will disappear okay uh, before starting anything i should uh, edit the units of the new file just from the command right units click on the units uh, decimal precision is two points after the comma for the degree one point after, after the comma is enough uh, the unit scale inserted content I use meters okay now the unit of the file is in meter let us save the file before starting drawing is it is better to not lose your file your file when you uh, draw by name house on the desktop save okay this is the original file which contains this house and this house too is the file which we redesigned the same house to it is better if uh, i copy this drawing to the new file because every time i will uh, go to this file and uh, to measure the distance for example to see this distance uh, or to see the furnitures or the elevation it is um, time com consuming that's why it is better if i select the whole drawing and right click select copy then go to the new file select clipboard and paste paste anywhere no problem you see uh, the drawing in the uh, new file the original file i can close it 
for uh, making the new drawing the same as this drawing it is just for practice i will design from the first point to the last point but in real you if if you have the drawing you can just by one click select copy you can create how many you need you can create a copy for the original uh, drawing or just by mirror select the drawing and select the ortho right click select the first point and the last point of the line which you need to create the drawing mirror to the original select enter you can create a mirror for the original file but just for uh, making pra practice i will design uh, from the first point to the last point to this file okay i have two options a polyline and line it is better to work by polyline the first step is in creating the external walls external walls the dimension is 20 meter and 10 meter the width of the house but before starting creating the drawings you need to create the layers layers you see here this by default i have this layers for this file if you don't have any file any layer you can create from here from the layer properties select it you can see this is the uh, default layers uh, if you see if you need to create new layer just click on this icon you, you can create now i need a uh, wall layer uh, window layer and window and door layer the same also for the furniture i need to another layer for the dimensions i need to another layer four to five layers is enough for our work uh, for the wall is available for the window is available also the blue color for the door and window i use this one no problem for the dimension uh, there is no available i will create the new one the right dimension and select the color i will choose red okay for the furniture i can create later okay no problem now let us start with the walls before starting the walls select the layer of wall after that and create walls select polyline you can uh, to parallel to this uh, just don't click anything just drag to uh, cursor on this point to start with the same elevation for example i want i want create from here select this point and for this direction i have 20 meter for this direction i have 10 meter this direction i have 20 you can click on this point to close or you can just on the keyboard right c and enter the polyline will close automatically automatically okay now the width of the wall is how much for example just measure 0.2 meter the width of the wall to copy this polyline by the dimension of 0.2 it is better to use offset select offset before clicking on anywhere write the width 0.2 then select enter after that select the object you need to make offset select this polyline drag to the inner uh, to this direction you can copy to this direction for the outer side also you can create in the out but for the inner side I, inner side i need to make offset from the inner side anywhere just left click and right click enter the copy is uh, created now the external wall is created 
then I will go to this room to create this room. Let us know the dimensions of the room. 3.7 meter width and 5.2 meter length. I click on the polyline. For this direction, I have 3.7. For this direction, I have 5.2. And uh, connect it to this line. This sign, which is perpendicular to, it means perpendicular to the wall. If this line is, we see this line, it is not perpendicular. This is not perpendicular. This sign is means perpendicular click on this point and right click enter you see this is the polyline but this part is no need you can click on this node drag to here this part is disappeared deleted okay i need to make offset for this polyline to the out not to in it select the offset uh, point two is from the previous I have the same point to just click on enter or you can rewrite the point to then enter select the polyline to the outer side left click then right click enter and this will create this room the opening of the door for this main door this door Later, I will uh, make the opening and the dimension style also, it is not good. Later, when we uh, go to the dimension layer for uh, putting the dimensions, I will uh, <coughs> modify the dimension style. Now, just I'm creating the walls step by step. This part and this part, the length is how much and the width is how much. Let us uh, start from this one. The width is 1.5 meter and the length is 2 meter. Click on the polyline 1.5 and this one is 2 meter perpendicular to the wall okay be careful tick on this ortho uh, mode uh, because if it is not ticket the line is not horizontal it can be horizontal by putting this point but for example for this line control z you can undo for this line i don't know how it is vertical how it is perpendicular to this line i don't know I should take this ortho to be vertical, uh, 2 meter enter, and this one by perpendicular, okay. You see this part also it is uh, non it. click this node and drag to here, okay. You see this, this way is 0 0.2 meter width, but this part is 0.1 meter width of the wall. How I can control? Select offset, 0.2 enter to the outer side, okay. But this part, 0.1 and this one, 0.2. Just click on the polyline, select this node in the middle and drag to this side and write 0.1. Then select enter. Okay, this part is point 0.2, this part is point 0.1. Okay. This length is how much? 1.9 meter. 1.9. The width is 1.5, the same as here. From here, select it 1.9. And for here, You can uh, just drag to this point. You see the the length of the line, or you can add two meter. 
the same. This is not two meter. How much? One point five. One point seven. One point five. We have two here, and point two in the width of the wall. It means one point seven. Click on here. Right click enter. The width of this wall is point two. No problem. Not like here. You can uh, make offset, but be careful. Drag this line not to here. Select offset point two. No problem. Enter. But uh, I measured this distance is one point nine. It means the offset should be to the outer side. If the offset to the outer side, it, this line will go to the inner face of the, to the uh, 0.2 meter offset to the, uh, to the, to the left. I will solve later, solve later, no problem. Click on the offset 0.2, enter to the out. Okay. Now we see this, uh, wall is shifted by 0.2. To solve this problem, Select both of them, select the middle of this line to the right side and write point two, enter. This one also writes point two, enter. If you have the problem like this, you don't need to delete uh, the lines. Just after that, you can make it move. Okay. Now we have uh this part this line will continue to the to this wall you can create by line because it is not uh, you don't have angles a straight line but by polyline is better no problem for the first uh, for the straight lines, you can create by offset or just by copy. Select copy, select the line, right click, then click on any point of the line. So go to this direction and select point two, enter. Then escape. Okay, for this WC and bath later I will create. Now I will go to this room. The width of the room, 3.38, and the length is how much? 4.7. Create a polyline, 3.38, enter, 4.7. Then perpendicular to the wall. Just check 4.7 or what? Yes, 4.7. 4 okay. Now, this part is no need. And then create the offset. 0.2 enter to the outer face. Okay. Select, uh, this is not the wall, this is, uh, it seems like a table, oh, but I should uh, select the boundary, the length of here, 2.8 by 3.5. Two point eight and three point five. This part is no need. Drag the note. Okay, we have this line and the length is how much? The length of from here to here. 
So the length from here to here, 3.3. .3. This is 3.5, move point to enter. And move this line to here. Uh, now we see this is not connected to this part. It is not uh, this, the, this polyline not connected to this polyline, but we don't need because it is not uh, of we don't have offset from here uh, we don't have offset from here also uh, this length is how much uh, we have 1.6 meter 1.6 you can drag this point to here just on just this part we have the offset just this part we have offset then select offset point to enter to the outer face okay this part of the wall is how much the length 0.8 meter 0.8 from here the width of the wall is 0 0.1 0 0.1 and connect to here select this line and drag this point to here then you can draw this line the length of this one 3.5 this one 3.3 drag this line to point two and drag this line and this node to here okay the kitchen is created later i will trim this part and uh, add the door to here then the reception is remained now the reception width is how much 4.5 meter width and the length is 6.5 by the polyline 6.5 and to this direction 4.5 and then 6.5 or just you can just drag the line to here not go and click click on the node just drag you can see this 6.5 click and click here okay this part is no need okay we have internal with it 4.5 and 6.5 we need to create offset to the outer side select offset point to enter to the out okay let us uh, create this chamfer this chamfer chamfer how can we create the first step we need to create and see the dimensions the length of here is one meter and this length is one meter means the chamfer one meter by one meter how can i create from this node create the line one meter one enter and from here create one enter 
then by the line or polyline at the end of this line to the end of this line select enter delete these two lines okay now by offset point to enter select this one and to the outer enter you see there is a gap from here and gap from here how can you connect it here for here uh, from the trim tick on this sign and select extent select this line and select the polyline then right click then select this side of the line it is uh, connected and this side of the line also connect right click enter okay now how we remove this parts from here select a trim select this location all this uh, boundary and right click then it is ready to trim any location you need for example this is no need this part is no need this part also no need this part this part and this part all right click enter okay this uh, chamfer is created that's uh, the next part also the same how can we create in the best way the best way is creating a mirror mirror is how uh, create a line from here to here perpendicular line from this wall to this one create a line then by mirror select these two lines and right click specify the center line center line it means what i need to mirror this one to the to this location i should select the middle between of them the middle between this chamfer to this chamfer is the middle of this line select the middle of this line then select uh, another location perpendicular to this line for example here right click enter then you can delete this line this line just to create a, a mirror from this side to this side at the at the middle of the line around the middle of the line then by trim you can delete the no need parts select it all then right click and select each part you don't need This part cannot be deleted. How can I delete? Right click enter. You can by select it separately delete. This part I, I don't need to sell, delete to all. Just drag this point to here. Now the walls are created They're just in here is remain. How can I create? By the same way, just uh, measure the dimensions and uh, create these walls. I stopped the video uh, to create this one to uh, because the video is makes too long. Okay, the walls are finished then the stairs are uh, it is better to uh, create it in the same layer in the wall layer because it is the same color uh, how to create the stairs measure this length is one meter the width of the wall because i don't have walls here and this is one meter and the width of the the state how much 
0.9 meter. Each step of the the trader uh, is the trader width is 0.26 centimeter meter. Okay, now uh, let us start from here. One meter, the location of the door, 0.9 meter, the width of the stair, and 0.26 meter, the trader size. Select enter. Delete this part. You can select copy. Copy the stair and select this node. Copy the stairs. Okay, how much remained here? Point ninety two means maybe from here. Point ninety two, yes. This stair is extra stair. How many traders have? One, two, three, four, seven, five, six. We have another six stairs. Point twenty six is enter select here yeah, perpendicular. Then by copy two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the, <coughs> the stairs is also done. Now uh, by trim, we can uh, make the opening for the doors. For example, this door is one meter. One meter. Um, Selected. Select, select this point and here. Then by copy. One meter, enter. After that, by trim. Select this location, then right click, select this part and this part. Okay, this is the location of the uh, window. By the same way, I will uh, make the opening for all the doors after trimming the locations of the walls. We have uh, the locations of holes are empty. Okay, just uh, the location of these two uh, window doors are, are remained. Let us create now. We have this opening 2.6 meter and this one is 1 meter. Okay, let us start. Point four by point four. Enter the clear distance. We have uh, two point six meter. Let us create the other column. Point four. Point four. Enter. Click here and click here. Right click. Enter. Move this one two point six meters. Move. 2.6 enter okay copy another time this drag this point for here 0.4 meter another one meter it means 1.4 enter now the clear distance here one meter and here 2.6 meter let us trim the lines between them select this area and select this two point two lines two lines this line and this line this one cannot be trimmed because we don't have another line beside of them select in separate and delete okay 
now let us uh, start to create the windows to start the windows select the layer of window directly the uh, color of the layer is changed to the uh, point uh, to the blue also you can uh, uh, create the width of the line uh, thickness for example i have this, th this thickness how much 0 0.05 0 0.05 uh, we can uh, make it from here directly how we can make it from the layer properties window the line weight can be changed to point of five okay now the window line is changed by polyline the width of this uh, window is how much Why you don't see the width of the line? Because this one is not a thick, thick one. You can see the width. But the width is so small, then you cannot see. If we create another, for example, point 0.3, change the width to point 0.3, no, point 0.5, okay. You can see the thickness better. Width of the window, how much? For example, select this one. For here, you have 2.5. Select 2.5, enter. Then create a line between of them. I use this style of the window, no problem. You can see, create the same style. I use this style. It depends on the engineer for this select it look the first location and create copy and you can use 1.8 meter and create a line between them this is the window for the kitchen for this bedroom create copy one meter create a line from middle to the middle right click enter you can make it 1.2 click both of them drag this point select right point two okay sorry select this one point two y point two enter i don't know the problem select this one point two then create a line between them For this, create copy one point two can create point another point three, it means one point five. Then this window by this way, you can create all the windows. After adding the window for all the rooms and WC and the bathroom, uh, the next step is uh, adding the doors. Uh, then I can select the
layer of the door, but I don't see here. Let us create the layer for the doors. by the color of brown for example select the layer of the door directly it will be changed to the brown but uh, the line weight is not in, like this i use default okay now in the uh, layer of the door i will start to create the doors this is uh, one meter from here to here but from here to here how much 0 0.05 and from here to here how much 0 0.1 let us create the one Point one enter. Sorry, select this point. Point one enter. Point oh five enter. Then create the line like this. The length of this line, how much? Select a line. Point nine five. Okay, select the polyline uh, and take this orthogonal. Ortho. Select point point nine five. Enter. Then by the offset point oh five. Enter. then close the door with this by line then connect this door by this wall by the arc how can we do this by select circle this is the center of the circle and this is the end of the circle okay and by trim we can delete this part Select it all, select this part, select this part, select this part. Okay. This part is dashed line. Here is continuous, but, but it is better to create dashed line in this part. This is dashed line, but I don't see the dashed line. How? You can see, right click from the properties. By the line type scale, select point O five enter. It is uh, not clear. Select point O one enter. Now this is good. Line type scale. You can change the scale, and you see the dot lines. Okay, select uh, fill it. Fill this door by the hatch. Select hatch. Uh, solid type select this color select this part then right click enter okay the door has been created but it is uh, many types many parts to clear to make it one part uh, we should create a block by this one select all parts of the door then right block name the door for example door one okay now it is one part for this part for this uh, room create mirror uh, select this one and create mirror okay but it is uh, not uh, in the right direction uh, it is better move to here create 
mirror for this one and mirror for this two types now we have uh, some types this type for here is good Let's create copy how we can uh, choose the right place and take this one and drag this point to perpendicular to this location okay for here um, for here if we need to open the door like this this is good copy okay for here and for here the same copy okay for here this which door and none of them create copy create copy and create rotate 90 degree okay for here and this type of door is good select this one and take this one copy copy from this point enter another doors this one for here And uh, for here, this type, this one is good. Copy. Okay. For here, this one is good. Copy. Here. And for here, uh this one copy enter okay delete this doors you have this part uh, can be filled by the same material of the door you can just do something like that this 0.5 enter 0.1 enter and like this or here the same but we have a gap here i think between this point and this point you have a gap how much 0.1 it means this door should be shifted by point one enter drag this two points to here drag this two points to here the same then create point four point one enter enter then fill these locations by the same material right click enter now the doors are finished i think just the external doors are remained this door is like this select copy paste here enter this door is different from this one uh, we have two point uh, six meter it means each one 1 1.3 meter copy this one to here this is one meter i need 1 1.3 meter each side means by scale 
select the door and select the base point write 1.3 enter then mirror the door mirror then right click and select the base point around this line enter now the doors are finished after finishing the doors and windows uh, the next step is dimensions how to add dimensions for example if, if i need to add dimension here 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 everywhere the dimension should be up here but uh, the first step now okay if i need to uh, hit hide the window layer just select uh, turn off the window you can this uh, appear it all if you need to hide the walls or if you need to hide the doors everything you can do this is the benefit of the uh, layers after that uh, the dimensions i need to create next uh, go to the dimension layer if I create a dimension, I see the style is too too large, not good for this drawing. Select the style, the the dimension, then select. You see the dimension is ISO twenty five. Select this icon. I we have ISO twenty five and standard. okay and let us and start with the standard we see how much how is standard how is, how is the dimension style for the standard the standard dimension also not good but it is better delete this one let us modify the standard uh, type we have a uh, standard then we need to modify the standard type click modify from the text uh, of fit primary unit is from the primary units you have four points after the uh, comma we need only two points after the comma from the suffix we need to add meter after the uh, measurement just write from the suffix meter you see here is Written. let us see now the style you see is good not bad okay let us it is very close to the walls let us increase this distance offset from the origin you can increase okay set current okay now it is good but the text size uh, a bit small let us uh, increase the text height from point 18 to point 22 the row size is also uh, row size is also small let us increase this distance is from the origin to the dimension line but this distance is from the dimension line to the external side you can change you can change the color of the dimension lines also you can change the row uh, style uh, that's it okay set current close now i think it is good add some dimensions everywhere you need uh, to add dimensions you can add it this 20 is Okay, you can add inside the rooms. Uh, 
after adding the dimension line for the required locations uh, from the real it, you need to add the dimension line for every locations every location should be appear because at uh, construction if the dimension is not appear you the contractor cannot uh, set out the damage and the walls on the ground everything should be clear now uh, for the text uh, text adding text is to the drawing right click on any location and the damage and the length of the text side is very large so for example i use 0.5 enter sorry 0.5 enter <clears throat> write in the name of the room that room I see the size also is large 0.3 okay you can change the uh, font, font style bold italic everything you can do then by copy to everywhere you need here is hall here is kitchen here is a reception Here is bedroom. That's it. This is WC and bath. Also, you can add garage and garden. Also, you can add. After that, the furniture dimension and the text is also added. To add the furniture, you have some. Uh, furniture uh, by default in the by default in the program you can add it or you can add from the external uh, files for example from this file i can add furniture to here or from the other uh, files you can add depends on the uh, furniture uh, from the program, we have view, and from tool palette, click on this tool palette. You can see this is the furnitures. For example, from the modeling construction, we have this. Uh, from the annotations, we have these types. From the architecture, you have the doors and windows. Everything you can add from the vehicle. If I need to add with uh, vehicle. Select the vehicle and copy to here. But it is in in the side view. How can how can you uh, make like this in the top view? Click on this uh, car and right click from the properties. From here, uh, type of view, make it top view. Okay. Then by rotate, make this. And by move, you can put in the right place. After adding the vehicles, then go to the tool palette also. We have three. Just add the three here. Then we have toilet. You can add two here. You can uh, change the view to the top direction. This is side view. Later I will change. 
then from mechanic what we have from the civil everything you prefer you can import to your drawings this is the type of the tiles it is very useful okay this is the furniture you can add for example i will change the direction of this toilet from the properties change to the right that's it around plan you can use any direction you want I use this type and rotate sorry rotate then by move okay this three also you can change the direction you can change the direction for this elevation i need uh, this type but for the plan this type is good some of them for the front elevation this type is for plan is good okay for the uh, another furniture you can create by your by your own side this is very simple for example you can uh, create a rectangle then by the line like this then the line like this after that then by hatch create for example some lines like this then by trim trim these parts then by hatch you can add some uh, colors to the required locations and, and that is it everything you can do by your side uh, this is also in simple this is in this table also simple you can create by your own side but all but usually furnitures engineers cannot uh, not create by yours uh, by themselves and they have a file of furniture, uh, special file for furniture. Every everywhere they need, just uh, copy uh, the furniture or the required furniture from this file to the required file. For example, I have this uh, file for the furniture. Just by copy, I drag to my file. That's it. For the furniture, I um, I prefer don't create the furnitures by yourself, by yourself. Create a file for the furnitures and copy every furniture you see in every time. Just copy the furniture to this file. Later, if you need, you can use it. That's it for the furnitures. For the garden, garden is very easy. Uh, for the garden, go back to the wall uh, layer. It is better. Create the rectangle like this. And by the hatch, from the hatch, we have grass like this. You can use it. something difficult for creating hatches 
It depends on the type of the performance of the com computer. After adding hash for the garden, you can uh, select the <coughs> color, or you can, uh, if it is, uh, if the scale is not good, you can uh, change the scale. For example, I use 0 0.0 six enter, or I use 0 0.0 three enter. It is as you required. For the others, you can copy this uh, and this one, these types of uh, uh, trees, everything for furniture, you can copy and drag to here. Copy and drag here. That's it for the plan. Uh, but for the stair, it is uh, two colors. Why? It is uh, the cross section. Cross section at the height of, for example, two meter, at the height of two meter, this uh, this stairs are not clear. It, it should be by hidden. We should create by hidden line or by other other color. I use the different color instead of the uh, hidden lines. The same. That's it for the plan, and the remaining part is the elevation how we can create the elevation then the next lecture is about creating layout layout is uh, preparing the uh, drawing to print creating a pdf with the required scale and uh, the, then print the file okay delete the original uh, plan this is finished the remaining is elevation how we create the elevation select it save do not lose the your file to create the elevation of front view for the house it is not uh, a good way to create the elevation beside the uh, house for example we creating we have to uh, 10 meter here create a line here for example 10 meter then create a wall create and everything beside the uh, house the better way to create uh, the elevation is uh, in front of the house like this select the polyline or line drag this point to here for example seven eight meters to down then click and the width of the house is 10 meter like this okay the first thing you need to create uh, from this for example create a section like this you see you need to see in this direction not from here copy yeah if you uh, view the house from the outside you see this part of the wall and the uh, doors it is not good because uh, it, it, it it hides some parts of the elevation view but if you create a section from the from this location you see the uh, windows every everything yeah, in front of your house without the external wall. i need to create a section like this a cut cut from this location to see the front elevation of the house the first thing you need to create projections each each changes you can create the projects projection from this location we have a change from here we have a change from here draw every change we have a change here 
we have to change here draw all projections it makes draw the front elevation very very simple from here we have a change from here also we have you can do by copy copy from here to here to here okay that's all changes then well, this is you can trim in below the ground you can select a trim select this area and right click then by left click you can delete this part to be not complicated uh, make this type of lines by dot dot lines uh, but the scale of these dot lines is uh, very large right click and properties change the uh, scale point oh five for example you see it, uh, dot lines and also change the color to this color for example okay now we see the every changes by the projection and uh, with this type of line okay the first one is this line and this uh, from this line we have the elevation the height of this floor how much the height is uh, 3.2 meter for example the height of the slab 3.2 go to here because this is the uh, slab for the ground floor and we have the thickness of the floor uh, slab is uh, 0.2 meter by the offset select point two meter enter then select the slab to down or if you want to make higher slabs you can go to i need to down okay we have clear uh, height three meter it is good this way also we have uh, we have the external wall from this projection you have external wall from here from here also you have internal wall for the internal wall also we make it okay but for the internal wall we have just uh, the uh, not the entire height at the middle 1.5 meter height the height of the wall or 1.8 sometimes 1.8 then this is the one the other side also we have the external and internal and the height of the wall is 1.8.8 enter okay this projection for what this projection for the window and this is the other side of the window the height of the window from the base is 1.2 meter for example 1.2 or 1 meter then the height of the window how much 1.5 you can uh, it is it depends on you for example 1 meter one meter is better because you have the door also door is 2.2 the total height of the door and the window 
uh, should be the same. Uh, we have a 2.2 and the height of the door is also 2.2. It is better the uh, height of the uh, top of the window is at 2.22 to create the same elevation for the doors and windows. Okay, and this window is created. And these two projections for the wall. This wall is from the top, bottom to top. Beside this, we have the door. This door is uh, the main entrance door. Uh, door. The height is 2.2 meter. This is the main entrance. Uh, height is 2.2 meter. Then we have this uh, sloped wall. The sloped wall should be appear like this. This is the sloped wall. Beside the sloped wall, we have the window. The window, the elevation will say at the same and from this projection to this projection. And the height for this uh, reception, no need to hide one meter from the ground. We need uh, 1.8 meter height of the window. It's better to have the larger window from the reception. In some cases, uh, it extends to the ground to get more uh, sunlight to inside the house. For the kitchen, we have 1.2, you can change to 1 meter, down 0.2 meter, then extend this lines to the bottom. Okay, that's good. This is the uh, all parts of the ground floor. Then we have uh, terrace. The thickness of the wall like this, but not appear in the thickness of the slab. Uh, we have directly the height of the of this wall on the slab, 0.8 meter. It depends on the owner of the house, not thickest, but 0.8 is good to save children's. And we have this point to add extra point six point six uh, is not good. I use point eight with this slab uh, get us one meter. Okay. After that, we have the this part. the location of the the location of the stairs where the, where is starting you can change uh, make a projection for this starts from here and uh, the door is from here you can create the door from this side at the uh, terrace, you can, uh, it is not up here. If you create the door from this side at the top, you can create from here, but uh, from here is better. Do not appear from the front side. Okay, uh, we need the projection for the window also. For example, uh, we don't uh, have projection from here at the top. You have okay. From here we have 2.8 meter. It is not like the ground floor, uh, a little bit uh, smaller. 2.8, but not from here. Not from here, from the top of the slab. We have this 0 0.8, 0 0.8 and 0.2 of the slab. It means we should uh, down this one by 0.8. Okay, this part is not up here. Uh, 
Oh, sorry. This is the opening. Uh, this is uh, this projection not from here. From here it means this one moves from here to here, and this one from here to here. Okay. We have uh, how much? Three meter. But point two, the thickness of the slab. It means point. Uh, it means uh, two point eight meter height, and we have the terrace for this one point eight meter, and here point eight meter. You can create uh, point four meter outside for the slab. like this the slab uh, up over here but not up here okay this is uh, generally just uh, the window for the terrace is remained we have point eight here at the top of point eight for example we'll start to the height one point we should uh, check the height two point here we have point two the thickness of the slab we have another two point uh, two meter for the top two meter is enough Okay, this window from the bottom and from the top of the slab for here is two meter. And the height of the door from the other side, from the other side should be at this level, two meter height. For the ground level, 2.2 meter height, but for the uh, next floor is two, two meter is enough for the terrace. That is the final shape for the for the front elevation but we have the uh, slope curved uh, slab from here this slab the slab of the ground floor for example starts from here to here and then by the curve go to here then go to, uh, and we create the curve the arc uh, three points arc. Create the arc like this and by line. This is the slab of the ground floor. Like this, we have the straight line and arc, then the straight line. You can uh, change the arc length like this just by select it and drag the point as you can't change anything how we create this uh, uh, changes for here we have the straight line this is the straight part and the curved part and go to here this is straight part then Curve to here, then straight from here to here. Okay. You have one stair, one stair point fifteen something fifteen meter to get into the house. Uh, not the same elevation in the garage. Fifteen centimeters. Uh, higher from the garage and in, in, when you need to enter the house okay now you need to uh, remove this projection lines then uh, create the coloring we have solid and we have pattern 
solid and gradient pattern and solid solid it means only one color but gradient it means it, it is uh, the it mixes between the two colors you can change the colors also pattern you have this type of tiles uh, concrete everything you need you can add for example i will use uh, gradient I use this type of color for the front side right click enter another time select it and the gradient also select different colors for example use this one and this one For the walls, use solid. It depends on the design. Anything you need, you can add colors. And for the uh, windows, you can create some parts for the window. Everything you need, you can do it. For the window, I use uh, gradient and use this type of colors. Right click, enter. Everything you can do it. Then add the trees from the uh, view to the palette. You can add trees uh, from the architecture. We have a window also, you can add a window from the tool palette. Our door you have to add here. Uh, you can change the dimensions, change the views, everything you can do, vehicles. Now I will add a vehicle and tree. For the tree, just click any location, okay. Then click on the tree, then properties. Change to, change the view of the uh, three you can use this type this is for the front view this is for the front view this is for the front view then you can change the color um uh, this is block because you don't have uh, changed the color like this. You can change from the block editor. Okay, now I will change. Add some uh, other things in the car. You can add also. Okay, close this one and to change the color for the of the tree. Double click on the tree, and then double click on the name, then select the tree, change the color, right click, block editor, close, Y. If you don't, if you cannot change, you can extract, then change the color. For this one, also extract. Select it, change the color. It is it, it is part by part, but you can uh, make it a block uh, again. For example, select all and create block. Select block, main, name the block like this. It is in the one part. Also, this one also you can change to the uh, block also. That is the end of the practical part of the AutoCAD learning. I hope you will enjoy it and learn from this. Thank you. Now the design has been finished and how we can prepare this uh, drawing is, uh, to print. How we can prepare uh, by scale, not randomly uh, to print. We have here a model and layout. Layout is preparing the drawing to print by scale. Select on layout, you see the drawing here, but it is a random uh, 
and preparing not it is a uh, uh, scaled uh, from the layout we have right click by plot you see you can plot this view directly or by page setup manager click on page setup manager we have one layout you can create a new layout uh, now i will talk about this also uh, but we need to modify this one uh, for instance click on modify we have uh, many types of uh, outputs uh, but i i want a microsoft print to pdf microsoft print to pdf is the best one to prepare your drawings to print i select this one we have um, two, uh, different types of uh, papers i want to print this map on the a4 paper we have a portrait and landscape uh, portrait it means in the in the length direction in the y-axis but portrait means the length direction in the x-axis i will use portrait select ok cross now the direction of the sheet has been changed to this direction, the length direction, direction in the Y. This is the viewport. Viewport, it means show me the drawing inside this box. Let us increase the viewport and to here is also increase. You can zoom in to be more clear. Okay. Or here also you can uh, zoom to the boundary of the sheet no problem but uh, it is better to um, uh, remain this part okay this is the viewport double click on the viewport you can zoom in and zoom out pan your uh, drawing it is uh, if you see here the scale will change when i will zoom in and zoom out the scale will change every zoom is the different scale but it is the random scale not not a specific scale select on the scale click on the scale you see here 10 to 1 this 10 to 1 is means one unit on this drawing is equal to uh, 100 uh, unit in the real this, it means one to one hundred. You can print this uh, drawing on this uh, sheet. The scale now is uh, double click on the you, you see ten to one. It means one uh, to one hundred. How you can check? How you can uh, check whether it's right or not? Click on the uh, it's not and create the, another line from here to here on the drawing you you, you know it is 10 meter on the drawing also you, you know the dimension of the sheet how much from the layout page setup manager you know uh, 210 by uh, 297 it means this this dimension 210 uh, 210 millimeter and this one 297 uh, millimeter okay measure the dimension from here to, to here you see it is 100 millimeter this is on the sheet 100 millimeter 100 on the sheet but in real how much 10 meter open the calculator in the real how much 10 meter 10 each meter 1000 millimeter equal to 10,000 10, millimeter this uh, length in the drawing is 10,000 millimeter on the drawing on the paper how much 100 millimeter divide by 100 
equal to 100. It means the scale is 1 to 100. Uh, then how to how you print? You can rename by right click, rename, or just double click on the text. You can uh, name this layout, for example, ground floor. Okay. How to plot? Right click. We have plot here. Don't change anything here. Okay. Select the location. For example, on the desktop, uh, number one. The right ground floor. Save. Okay, save. Let us go to the desktop. You see here, ground floor. This is the drawing on the A4 paper. You can directly uh, send by uh, flash memory or uh, WhatsApp, Viber, everything. You can just print on the A4. You see the scale is uh, corrected 1 to 100. How you can uh, copy and uh, co uh, print the front elevation in another layout? Create the another layout. You can create here from new layout or right click here, move or copy. Create a copy, move to end. Okay, you see here another layout has been created. Uh, double click to rename. Select right floor front elevation. Click anywhere. Okay. Double click on the drawing on the viewport and zoom out and zoom in on the uh, front elevation and select the 10 to 1 to select the. But if you need to create a set on the, in the middle, you see this part of the ground floor also appear in this uh, drawing. Go to the model. Move this part to down more to not be clear, to not be appear in the uh, front view layout. It it doesn't uh, affect on the ground floor. Ground floor in the uh, original location, but we move it on the front floor to the down. Then uh, you can ch change the location and select the scale double click okay this is good you can make here a logo the name of the company name of the engineer name of the owner of the house everything you can do here by adding for example text here you can add text it's everything logo everything you can copy logo from the outside from everywhere from any location just by click uh, paste you can add here then right click plot okay select the location disk front elevation okay you can use different uh, sheet uh, size everything you can do this is ele front elevation on the desktop. That's it. This uh, you can uh, plot on the A4 paper and you see the, the scale is 1 to 100. Correct. That's it. Thank you for watching.